We like really 70s. Like 70s. Can't beat them. Yep. It's January. Vera, thanks. Local environmentalists calling for pollution control tonight. Bottles and other debris tossed on the beach have been collecting into a huge patch of plastic. Scientists are concerned that natural ocean currents are gathering the stuff, which could eventually make its way into our food chain. Dave Malkoff with a close-up look. You're looking at the modern ocean, plastic and nature. This is what a football field of the North Atlantic looks like if you concentrate it into a mason jar. Bit of a balloon, some styrofoam, some hard plastics as well. The ocean has become plastic soup. Sarah Bales and her husband. I'm a marine biology professor and I teach at Santa Monica College. Admit they're kind of obsessed with the ocean. Sarah spends her days picking up throwaway plastics, single-use wrappers, straws, bottle caps. All of it's usually plastic. In March, they, along with 14 colleagues, will sail from Easter Island to study what this plastic is doing out there. Uh, the organization we're working with is called the Five Gyres Organization. They have been to the North Pacific, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, and the Indian Oceans, and I've certainly found a lot of these plastic pollutants in each of these mid-oceanic gyres. You know, there might be some debate on the size of these actual gyres and how much is in them, but what is for certain is that every single time we take a water sample, we find plastic. You're going to be in some of the most isolated, clear waters in the world, and yet in the middle of all that, we're going to find huge amounts of plastics. So that swirls around, breaks down, Plankton eat, feed on that. And here's how those chemicals move their way up to you. The big plankton eat a lot of the little plankton. And then the little fish come around and eat a lot of the big plankton. Then the medium-sized fish eat a lot of the little fish. And the big fish eat a lot of the medium-sized fish, which ends up right here. And with that knowledge, I guess you've got a decision to make. The decision I've made is... Uh, well, I'm hungry. Then what ends up happening, of course, we get those toxins, we get those chemicals into our body. Yeah, but get this. You can't clean it up. You can't go and, and drag a net behind a boat and tow all of that out. You're going to tow out the base of the marine food chain with you. It's not up to me to save the ocean in terms of I'm going to collect enough of this stuff that it's going to make a dent in what's actually out there. But hopefully what I do with my blog, it's called The Daily Ocean, I take pictures of it. I put it up online, I talk about it, I talk about what I've learned along the way. And she'll be sending live pictures and stories from out there, hoping to change the habits back here on land. In Santa Monica, Dave Malcolm, KTLA 5 News.